Do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. But then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but... I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank... We have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost. But I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear. And sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenigus, anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenigus abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> she stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. 
be it several centuries ago or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <sighs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. Then I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside. That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? All this time, I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well... You can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave, with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nuh-uh. -uh. I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, Finding out you're the Sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah, all this time you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like... I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going.
Alfin. Are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <sighs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. Back to the inn, I guess. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alvin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this!
Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Be my guest. Easy and scary, Yeah. Come away to me. I'm on. Bring back. Take it away. Do it. Come Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something too. My rage, this fury I feel at our so-called rulers, it comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home, they took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. Not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an, then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, 
can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait. Don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine, let's get going. Thistleham was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even though we're Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. Mm. <sighs> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Looks like we made it here in one piece.
I'd like to ch their wares if you don't mind. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? about how this tastes. prepared, but did we have fruit.
feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered can be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Like trouble with the cavalry team. Together, we no got further. this. Burn. Take this. Radiant. Can you take it? Blow away. Go. Go. Double demon fang. Are those arms even natural? Be still. Cast it. Here I come. Shot. You're finished. Take this. Hurricane flood. Storming light spear. Cast it. Cast it. Here I come. You're finished. Don't get careless. Man, this place is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia pride. this thing. Regret this. No further. Blow away. Raining slash. I think Russia. Stand on the way. Raining slash. You're mine. Shockwave slash. I'm ready. Look sharp. Lightning tiger blade. Oh no. Sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! 
With this, I can become even stronger. Now! 
Life vs. Force! Radiant Genesis! A comfortable win. Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renin like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the Maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori... And I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? 
And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones, so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send out lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear fall. Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You were talking about me, weren't you? No, I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabelt back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then, and I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because, you know me, I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Oh well, yeah, but still. I don't think those nightmares going away 
means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our pasts. Least of all, me. Rinwell. The villagers managed it on their escape from the city. We're going in the opposite direction, but where there's a whip. Is it just me, or does Rinwell suddenly seem much more comfortable around Dohalim than she used to? I noticed that too. When the two of them came and found me together back on the beach, I could hardly believe my eyes. It's not like we had a choice or anything. Law and Kisara had to hang back to convince the villagers we meant them no harm. <sighs> More than that, though, there are a lot of things I've still got to come to terms with regarding Almadria. But I guess I'm through making snap judgments based on someone's origin. At least, I'm trying to be. I guess you could say it's a work in progress. I see. You hear that, Law? Sounds like all that hard effort wasn't for nothing. Yeah. That's got to be reassuring to hear, right, Dohalim? Not being subjected to unwarranted suspicion is certainly welcome. Yeah, that long-winded way you have of talking, though? Not so much a fan of that. I think that's more of a personality thing than a Renin trait. Really? In that case, I won't have to feel guilty getting annoyed by it. <sighs> Looks like trouble. <laughs> Together, we've got this! Not on my watch! It's over! Take this! Rising light! Burn! Do the arc! It's over! Rising light! Burn! Eternal devastation! Crush! Die! An astral arc! That's my cue! Shut him down! Raging star! Double see the pattern! Not now! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! See that? That training's paying off! Shark! Lightning Tiger Blade! I still got a ways to go! Crap. This injury hurts more than I thought. Shion, sorry, but could you. Oh. This one will be 
difficult to predict. It's over. Now you see what I can do. I shall provide assistance. be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play along, would you? This one will be difficult to predict. You see what happened there as you crossed me? Shouldn't have done that. 
Now you see what I can do. These enemies aren't to me. Take this. It's no for play here. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. That's what I like to hear. I've never stood so close to a waterfall like this before. I bet it'd... This one will be difficult to predict. So I still had room to grow. It's over! Eat dirt! Come here! Oh, not done! 
Quite necessary when creating weaponry. Coming through. Celebratory drink. The design. Now this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. We're even halfway there yet. Hang in there. Retreat if you know what's good for you.
you guys checked your equipment lately? What is this place? Careful, we've got company. Doesn't look like we're getting past without a fight. Watch your feet. Fall from here and it's curtains. We're just trying to get past. Get out of our way. Save your breath. All that thing sees is a talking meal. Now let's show it how wrong it is. Is it trying to stop us? Come on, Wyvern. Can you take it? Get away. No art of being interrupted. What's the worry of your movement? It's incredible. You may be strong, but I'll never back down. Forgive me. This is my fault. From beyond, imbued this vanquished soul with life. Its wings are lighting up! It's getting ready to attack! First strike! First strike! Such tremendous power! Don't... Face it head on! We must be tired of killing me. I'm nearly doing what I can to help. Glad you're on us, Yofi. I'm on it! Won't escape me! Look 
Shark! Lightning Tiger Blade! With fun? Who's to say there weren't a whole lot more of them who didn't? <sighs> well, at any rate, it should be a safer climb now that we've cleared the way a bit, right? No. So long as people feel the need to face terrain this perilous, I'd say true safety's some way off. You mean defeating Volron and putting an end to the crown contest, right? <laughs> I guess that would be the best solution here, huh? We've wasted enough time here already. Let's get going. Xion needs us. How are we still not there yet? It feels like we've been climbing this mountain forever. It helps if you try not to look up or down. All you need is silent determination. Talking too much will only waste energy and burn you out. I'm too tired to look up or down even if I wanted to. Take care you don't fall, at least. Unless you want to make a Zoogles day, that is. Zoogles? Why would they care if I fell or not? How would you feel if a three-course meal fell right out of the sky at your feet? <laughs> Zoogle chow. Uh, Law? Best not to listen to him if you can help it. You'll only be encouraging him if you do. Tell me that before I listen next time! Still, Tohalim has a point. One wrong step in its curtains. Wouldn't it be great if we could all fly like Hoodle? I bet even the refugees who didn't make it would have made it to Thistle in that way. <laughs> Until we magically sprout wings. Let's just watch where we're stepping instead, okay? Come on. Xion's waiting for us. So high up. 